Good afternoon. I'm here with a different kind of video today. I'm going to review the Roof Nest Sparrow and give my initial reactions to it. This is going to be my first night sleeping in it. I just got it yesterday. So far I'm loving it. But like I said, I really haven't got to sleep in it yet. So we will see. For those of you that are wondering, this does kind of overhang in the front a little bit. And that's because I have it pushed up so I can open up my hatch all the way. I mean, it's not like I'm going to sit up there at the end of it. So I believe as long as I keep the majority of my weight towards the back, it should be good to go. As far as driving with this, I mean, if you lean forward and look up, you can see it. And it does, you know, bounce a little bit when you start hitting about 65 miles an hour. But uh, it's not too bad. So far it hasn't flown off. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I'll show you how easy this is. Like literally one minute. That is it. It's ready to go. All you need to do next is just add the ladder. Just like that, it's ready to go. It is very easy to set up. It's a little more difficult to take down, but I mean, it's so much easier than a standard tent. There's also a big window right there. There's another giant window slash entrance because you can also attach the ladder to this side if you'd like. And then you can also prop up this back window as well. So you can have a total of three windows that have an awning. Another cool thing about the Roof Nest Sparrow is you can store all your bedding up there when it's closed. So like right now, I've got my sheet up there, a sleeping bag, three pillows, and then all of the internal bags. Let's go check it out. It's super roomy. I'm 6'1", and I've got like, I feel like eight inches extra lengthwise. It's a good four feet wide, so I can stretch out quite nicely. It gets dark in here if you zip it all up. It comes with a three inch foam mattress that is really comfortable. It's got the, uh, little net right there that you can put stuff in. It's called the attic. You can see the top is well insulated. And then Roof Nest also sells an additional like quilt lining that you can add to this. It's about $400, but that makes it really warm in here. Yeah, those gas struts are super heavy duty. 
it's supposedly guaranteed forever or something like that. Yeah, it's really nice, guys. Really nice. I mean, this is like having a spare bedroom on top of your car. And there it is, all popped open. I gotta get these big hiking boots off so I can go up in there. It is dinner time. I am gonna boil up some frozen hamburgers. Really, really easy. Just add some water there at the bottom of the pot. Throw your hamburgers in, light the fuse, and then it heats them back up. And then at the same time, it like re-moisturizes them. So they're nice and juicy. And then I got my pube cheese right there. Just kidding, it's called pub cheese. I've got my biscuit, that's gonna be my bun. Got the little piece of cheese, I am ready to go. And then check it out like three minutes later. Yum. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Just getting everything organized in here. I love how my drinks fit perfectly in this little groove. That's nice. Got my little organizer hanging there. That is my bag with all my clothes in it. But yeah, this is nice and here's my view. That's looking out onto Granite Springs Reservoir or just Granite Reservoir for short. I've seen it both ways. I'm gonna leave that window cracked right there try and get some airflow. But yeah, guys, this is really comfortable, really awesome. It's like a little room. I had my dinner up here. I'm just chilling, drinking my chamomile tea. This is amazing. I mean, I guess this is considered camping, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's pretty luxurious. This will probably be the last take that I do before I try and go to sleep. I figure the sun will be setting here in an hour or so maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping to get some good sleep in this thing. That is the bottom line. So, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Just checking in. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. The tent is doing its job. It's just nothing else tonight is cooperating. The first challenge was the person that decided to bring their dog out here. And it's just been barking all day, all night, hasn't stopped. It's, it's finally stopped now because we have gale force winds blowing in at 60 miles per hour. But uh, before that, yeah, the dog just barking all night. So I had to put my earplugs in for that. And I'd say from about 8.30 to 12.30, I slept like a rock. I got my, nor my normal four hours there. I mean, that was some good sleep. And then I woke up because I had to go to the bathroom. So I unzipped the tent and I looked down the ladder and it was all full of snow. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself trying to get down this thing. And I uh, went to the bathroom, got back up in the tent, went back to sleep, everything was good. And then at about 2.30, I got woken up by the whole thing shaking. I'm like, what's going on? Cause I still got the earplugs in. So I really, you know, can't hear that well. 
but the whole thing started shaking and it's because the winds started kicking up. These winds right now are ridiculous. I mean, the tent's doing its job. I just, I don't want to destroy it the first night. You know what I'm saying? I brought this thermometer with me just to see what the temperature was going to do. And it got down to 29.5 is showing the low. Right now we're at about 38. But uh, this thing's doing its job. I mean, I'm sure you can hear that. But yeah, everything's just blowing around. It's really not that, that, that loud either with, with how strong the wind is. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff on the outside to, to flap around, so it's pretty good. I, I can't imagine winds getting much worse than this right now. For how cold and windy it is right now, this tent is kicking ass. This is amazing. I mean, I'm just sitting here. I've literally got on my hiking clothes, I've got on the same stuff that I hike in. I didn't add any extra layers. I'm sleeping in this like $20 sleeping bag that I got. It's not super great, but that's really all I have. And then this like big comforter. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing good. This isn't bad at all. I was sleeping really well until the whole thing started shaking. I thought somebody was messing with me. I'm like, is someone down there pushing my car around? What's going on? And there's the proof, guys. Check out the low, negative one. Oh, we just went up to four degrees. Nice. If I kick it over to Fahrenheit, looks like we, the low was 29.5, currently sitting at 39.4. Pretty cool. And I love the light on this thing too. You might be asking where'd I get this cool little thing? from Amazon. It was made in China. We hit negative one degrees Celsius. So, I mean, I'm dealing with everything and I'm feeling good, loving it. This is fun. I love technology. You guys remember Napoleon Dynamite at the end when Kip is marrying La Fonda? He's singing about how much he loves technology. I love technology. I love the fact this tent is keeping me alive. All right, guys. It's about 520. I've got the tent pretty much packed up. That was miserable. As soon as I went to pull the front down, I just got nailed with all the snow and slush that was sitting on top of it. The fact that I did this in the wind, in the snowy cold, and also in the dark is pretty impressive. I'm actually happy with that. But yeah, guys, I think that's the end of the adventure. Sorry it didn't have a great grand finale, but... Uh, I'm freezing, I'm cold, I'm out of here. But the tent did awesome, really great. I could not be more happy with the tent. I have no doubt it would have been fine in the wind. I just, it really wasn't putting me in a good mood. I am on the way back. And this may seem weird to some people. Like, man, he couldn't have toughed it out another hour? and got us all a nice sunrise video. No, my back feels great. I think sleeping on that mattress, that really flat mattress actually helped. I was able to sleep a few hours on my side and my hip doesn't hurt. Wow, that's fantastic. But another thing I'm really happy about is the fact that I folded the tent up in the dark, in the cold, in the snow, in the wind. No problem, no problems at all. It probably didn't even take me three minutes to do that, which is really awesome knowing that I'm able to, you know, put it down that quickly. Whoa, there's a big chunk of snow. I thought it was an animal, but uh, 
that's really good to know because there might be times where I need to pack it down in the dark and then get to the hiking destination by sunrise. You know what I'm saying? I can't just sleep at the trailhead. I wasn't joking about the winds. I just went under an overpass here in Wyoming that was giving out a warning saying that the gusts are currently over 40 miles per hour and they have been as high as 60 miles per hour. And that's about what I was thinking. I mean, this is extreme. So, I mean, there are even warnings on the highway here for people. But look at that moon over there. That is beautiful. Some of my initial thoughts on the tent. First of all, I love it. Two thumbs up. Fantastic. I mean, even though I was freezing and the wind was whipping, I got some of my best sleep ever up there in that thing. It was really comfy. But it's just hard to sleep when the wind is just howling. I mean, it was just so loud and the thing was shaking around. But, uh, I mean, like I said, that's, that's a rare occasion. Don't have to worry about that every time. But yeah, I love the tent. And I did not have any condensation build up on the inside, none. I left one of the little windows cracked. Uh, but yeah, it had good airflow through there. All right, welcome to colorful Colorado. Really the only negative things that I can even think of are the fact that it's going to kill your gas mileage a tiny bit and you can't go super fast on the highway. Those are really the only two bad things other than the cost of it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I highly recommend it. I'm going to have some fun times with that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, peace.